got to have big time revolutionaries. Prize of the day, it's Scotsman taking home a skiing trophy. With everything now decided, people reflect on what has been an enjoyable event. I've had a great day, yeah. You know, like usually when you do competitions, it's more like you, you're really there for winning and it's really like pretty like tight competition. But here it's just for us pros, it's just like coming here having fun and I think that's the good thing for most of the people. So it's really just basically enjoying a nice day in the sun all together and having fun. Yeah, it was great, it was really great, great weather and it was really, really nice. It's not really like a real, real competition, you just do it for you, like for fun. And... Oh, it's been fantastic, it's been a great day, um, competing with all my friends and you know, the pros as well. Yeah, I would like to come back, I mean, it's, it's my second year already and uh, if they invite me next year, I'm going to be back for sure. Fambrini here for the special winter edition of x -Corps. and you guys don't want to miss this segment. It is truly unbelievable. Our friend Tom Whitaker is the only amputee to date to actually scale Mount Everest. Take a look at this incredible footage. Everest Challenge did not just place the first disabled person on the summit of Mount Everest, but it also created three world firsts. Uh, the first Westerner to summit twice in one season, Jeff Rhodes, our cameraman, and uh, one of our Sherpa that went to the South Summit on one occasion and to the main summit twice in one season. Climbing on Mount Everest is a lot like uh, working uh, very hard, but be, just being able to breathe through a straw. And the problem that we have is not so much one of uh, our musculature not being able to cope with what we're doing. It's a question of your heart and your lungs being able to, to power up your muscles. Another um, thing about high altitude uh, mountaineering is it's as much a question of physiology as it is uh, psychology or anything else. Um, if your body uh, adapts well to high altitude, then you tend to go well and you can be the fittest specimen in the world at sea level and do very poorly up at altitude. The analogy being that if we're, we are fish now and we are in our environment in water, but if somebody is to take you and toss you up onto the bank, then you flop around. And it is not the fastest, best conditioned fish that functions in this environment that does best on the bank. Everest to me has always been about uh, the inner journey as much as the outer journey and the outer journey was uh, more, um, we'll say, a pilgrimage for me to travel inside myself.
great thing about climbing Mount Everest with a prosthesis is that it just sits like this with the crampons, the metal spikes, right outside your tent. And in the morning, everybody else is fumbling with laces. And you just pull up your down suit leg, slide in, and pull the leg over, and you're ready to go. amazing guy, huh? I'm telling you, you're going to see nothing like that anywhere else. Only exclusively here on Xcore. You guys got to stick around because when we come back, we're taking you to Antarctica.